Welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Remember to call those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen as we're going through the program. Many people are getting breakthroughs. I mean, healing, supernatural things on those prayer lines. So call and let us agree with you. And uh, I mean, really seriously, we just had a call last night of a man healed again. He was so thrilled watching God's View. He says he won't miss it. Just won't miss it when it comes on. You'll miss anything else, but won't miss that. He is so thankful to be out of pain. He no longer has to walk with his cane, take medicine and all these creams. And we were just so thrilled, yeah. weren't we, girls? Yeah. We called him back last night. We were so excited. And talk to him for a while but anyways one of um, many. yeah one of many. So many it's true calls. we get so many calls and and you know what uh, uh, one guy called girls wasn't it and I don't want to take a lot of time because we have a guest today one guy called and said I know your audience is mostly women but that's not true our prayer no. calls are 80 some percent men yes so I mean and that's really I think unheard of I mean yeah. that's really a mm -hmm. lot for a guy to pick up a phone and call and pastors and, yes pastors evangelists it's been great but anyways you new viewers uh, listen we are so glad you joined us today and all those that watch us faithfully welcome to today's program you are not going to want to miss it we are going to be talking about the presence of god how do you get into that presence of god because we have a, a worship leader with us today john Yay. belt and he's done over 30 cds he's a songwriter a worship leader and goes all over the world and will come to your place too remember our guest uh, information is always periodically across the bottom of the screen that you can go to there and so um, anyways for new viewers new viewers um, you know what I, I'm sorry just real second here we need to fix my mic okay new viewers welcome I am one of your God's view hosts Charlene back to Miriam this is Lana Gardner here's Jennifer Griffin we have Marianne Peluso and then won't you help us welcome our very Yay. special guest today John Bell songwriter worship leader to the Yay. program today oh, thank, thank you so for much. coming yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're so glad you're thank here. You. Yeah. So, anyways, well, we we kind of talked about it. What you were going to talk about, and everybody wants to know about yeah. the presence of God. Absolutely. Everybody wants to know how to enter into that presence of God. Absolutely. And you teach it, and you go all over the world, and you've made all of these albums. And by the way, they can go to your website at the bottom of the screen mm -hmm. and order any one of those albums, right? Yes. You have instrumental, Absolutely. and yes. and if you want, you can tell us a little bit about you. Are you married, kids? Yes, I'm married uh, to my wife Brandy, and we have two kids: Nathaniel and Malachi. One's a two-year-old. Oh. One's a four-year-old. Oh. So we're just Huge. enjoying life with our family. You know, it's awesome to have family. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's nothing more precious in this world than just to have family, you know, oh, whether amen. it's your church family or your home family. Yes. Uh -huh. But God just loves the family That's and so, so cool. we're just do they yeah, ever get to travel with you uh no they don't not very much at this point you know yeah. so it's hard to That's handle a four-year-old oh, and a two-year-old yes. <laughs> yeah. so i was gonna say it takes extra yeah. help but you know i know and people do it but i was just yeah, yeah i was like okay yeah but that's a lot <laughs> that's yeah. Awesome. yeah oh that's awesome yeah. Yeah. Great been married. Means. Oh, uh, we've been married five years. Okay, awesome. Yes. Oh. Like, well, you've been busy in five years. I know. Yeah, we time, can ask for, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. God, God, God did all the work. Those are great. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. We're so glad you came There's on so this way. There's so much strength yeah. in families. Yes. And so Absolutely. Just, yes. Especially Absolutely. like in, in these last days, it's important to get into yes. groups, even yes. if it's a Bible mm -hmm. study. Let alone a family. And John, Absolutely. where are you? Where are you from? Where are Oklahoma you out City. Oklahoma. Yeah, that's where I was born and raised in Woohoo. Oklahoma City. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, God brought us like full it. circle back to Oklahoma City. I'd lived in Arkansas, Tennessee, and wow. Ohio. Wow. Got my family in Ohio, moved back to Oklahoma City, wow. and God just showed us that's where that's we're supposed so to be. Wow. Yeah. So we moved back two years ago. Nice. And uh, so nice. we're, we're loving it. It's great. It's oh, great. nice. So, so when you go, I mean, you play keys, right? Is that yeah, your I main? I play keyboards and guitars. And yeah. guitars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you've done over 30 albums. Again, you can go to his uh, website and order any one of those albums and listen to his music. You can listen to the music. Yes, on absolutely. YouTube. You can listen to it online. On, it's yeah. all available. And yeah. it's just John Belt, right? Or do they go to the overflowglobal.com? Uh, overflowglobal.com. Or johnbelt.com. We'll get it. 
get oh, you there. Yeah. We'll yeah. get you there either way. Okay. Yes. So how about the presence of God and how do people get into it? Well, it's, it's my passion, uh, you know, because when I was 19, I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. And that's the first time I really experienced the presence of God. And I wasn't raised in church at all. Oh, wow. So I didn't, any, I didn't have any kind of religious grid. Uh, so I was completely open to it. Some people would be close to it because they were raised wow. a certain way. Yeah. But yeah. for me... Uh, they just stuck me in the chair, and I don't know if you're familiar with the book Pigs in the uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Park, so. <laughs> that book oh, by Frank and Ida Hammond yeah. that was out so long ago. But uh, they stuck me in the chair, and they prayed for me, and they cast out everything they could possibly find, <laughs> you know. And, but it was such a freeing experience for me. It was wow. a great jump start. But in that, I experienced God's presence, mm -hmm. you know, because when the bad stuff comes out, mm -hmm. the good stuff mm -hmm. can yeah. come in, you know. Yeah. So and so awesome. God came in with His presence, oh. you know, and you just begin to practice the presence of God. You know, I, do, I would just lie in my bed at night before I'd go to bed, and I'd just pray in the Spirit and yeah, worship, yeah. you know, for 20 to 30 minutes, yeah. and developing my spirit, man. Yeah. Were you a Christian um, before you got baptized? I, you know, it's debatable, you know, uh, how that goes. You know, I, I went to a Baptist church, and I was baptized, mm -hmm. but I hadn't experienced the Holy Spirit. The and it's so different spirit. when you experience the Holy Spirit. Yes. You know, when yes. He comes in, it just changes everything, mm -hmm. because the Word of God was dead to me. Yes. until I was baptized in the Holy Spirit and all of a sudden it she came alive. alive. I mean, I couldn't even read the Living Bible. The See, the Holy that's Spirit. How I, I couldn't was. even read the Living Bible. Well, it was a paraphrase yeah. and couldn't mm -hmm. even understand yeah. that until the Holy Thank Spirit you. came oh, and illuminated I that. it. I know. Right. The you know, but that's kills, just the, but the Spirit gives life. That's the yeah. Spirit of Revelation. We have to have the Holy Spirit for this thing to work. Mm -hmm. wow. That's the only way yeah. it works. You know, so wow, from so that point yeah. on, I've just had a passion for the presence of God. And mm -hmm. over the years, he just taught me to spend time in his presence. Uh, mm. Just like Mary, he said, mm. you know, this one thing that she does, sitting at the feet of Jesus and hearing his yes. words, this will not be taken away. Yes. This will not be taken away. Wow. And so it's so eternal, good. you know, mm. the time that we spend with him. And we think about eternal. all the works that we can do. We yeah. think about all the things that we can do. Mm. But who is willing to just stop? Yeah sit down and listen yeah. to God yes. wow. and just spend time in his presence because sometimes that seems so invaluable because we live in such a busy society. But once you do, yeah. once you force yourself, you know, to do it, you sit down and maybe even turn on some praise music or whatever and you can't pull yourself away. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It becomes addictive. True. You have yeah. to have the presence of God. It's like mm -hmm. Moses said, I will not go without your presence, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so we have to have that same heart and attitude. It's like, I'm not yeah. going to do this so thing without the presence So you teach a lot on that. Do you okay. teach and go in and worship, or are you just go in and worship mainly? I, I do both. Okay. I do the worship, uh, you know, and I speak, you know, on the mm -hmm. presence of God and life in the Holy Spirit. You know, because the Holy Spirit has been so essential to my life. I just want oh, other people to experience it. Me too. Him, that's me. You know? I, me and yeah. Holy Ghost is yeah. Yeah. buds. <laughs> the Holy Ghost. Holy that's Ghost it. is buds. Me and him is buds. <laughs> yeah. 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 But there's, like there's also such exceedingly great joy yeah. in the Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. And that's yeah. something that's missing in, in so many Christians' lives yeah. Is, yeah. is that experience of joy. And it's not based on your circumstances. It's not yeah. based on what you're that's going right. through. It's yeah. not based on all the difficulties and all the things coming against you because yeah. it's a supernatural joy. Yeah. It's a supernatural peace. It can be it's there good. at the same time. Yes. And sometimes it seems so contradictory, yeah. you know, that we can have troubles and then still have joy. Amen. Right. But they did in the book of Acts. Yeah, that's right. They that's had good. trouble and they had that's joy right. at the same yeah. time. You yes. know, so we can too. Yes. Yeah. So when you teach on getting into the presence, like tell us some things. Like if you went somewhere and somebody never knew how to get in the presence of God and they didn't know, you know, because there's all these different you know, oh, labels on it, whether it's soaking in the presence or sitting mm -hmm. in his presence or laying down in his presence. What, you know, like what would one of the key things that you would teach somebody that really has no idea to get into the presence of God? How well, I feel like the first thing is people need to hunger and thirst mm -hmm. for God. Mm -hmm. Have a genuine hunger and thirst. You know, it's mm -hmm. one thing just think in your mind, mm -hmm. oh, I want, you know, to experience God's presence. Mm -hmm. But it's another thing to pay a price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are we hungry enough? Yeah. To seek the Lord, mm -hmm. are we hungry enough to really seek Him and view Him as the source? Mm -hmm. You know, when we take that attitude, yeah. it will determine our altitude. What yeah. if we're not? What if a person's not? Then what do they do? They ask God. Or, how do they? How what do if they a person's not, not? Not hungry. Not hungry, hungry enough. Not to do if that. they're not hungry enough, they know they should. You know it. 
the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. So if they can just get a taste of God's presence. Yes. That's mm -hmm. good. Oh, like you what know, you said. It's like grandma's yeah, cooking. You don't want to get out of it. Yeah, you can yeah. just so smell it or taste it. It's yeah. like, okay, I want some more. Yes. yes. Yeah, because God tastes so good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the goodness of God that brings us to repentance. Yes. It's not him holding a condemning hand over us. It's him revealing his and goodness even to us. this program, us. what you're saying is really those in that... You know, they didn't never, you know, experience or whatever. It's just really in the men saying, wow, I want to experience Absolutely. That. Yeah. You know, because God is good. And that's many times not communicated mm -hmm. or experienced mm -hmm. in so many circles. That God is good. You know, He, oh, he only has good things in store yes. for us. And it's the goodness of God that draws us to Him, you know. Yes. And so He says, if you draw close to me, I'm going to draw close to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to meet yeah. you. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to make you do all the work. Mm -hmm. But there is a price, you know. We have to be willing to lay down some things and learn uh, that it's, it's so much the heart of God that we would come into a place of worship. Mm -hmm. and adoration of Him. And discovering that place of worship is essential to experience the pres presence of God. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to be doing in heaven. He inhabits the praises yes. of His people. Mm -hmm. He inhabits our praise. You know, so that's part of us becoming habitations yes. of His presence. Mm -hmm. He comes and inhabits our praise. Mm -hmm. And so the more time we spend in worship, and dedicate ourselves, consecrate ourselves in that yeah. way, the more He comes and fills us and we experience His presence. I, I like what you're saying, John, because you're redefining worship. I think in a lot of mega churches, I think pastors have fallen into the trap of, of worshiping worship. You mm -hmm. know, it's the sound, the bigness. <clears throat> and you can worship, worship. We worship a person, we don't worship a style. Mm -hmm. A yes. sound, mm -hmm. you know, so it's getting into his Absolutely. presence, right? And I think that's where God wants to bring people back, and that's where you are. You're, mm -hmm. you're not encouraging people to worship worship, worship the person. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so easy to fall into performance. It's human mm -hmm. nature. Because yeah, if you don't know the presence of God, that's what you uh, automatically drift Found. to is more of a performance matrix mm -hmm. in the way you think. You mm -hmm. know, it's like, okay, so uh, I want to I want to please God. Yeah, I'm going to work. So something. all of a sudden I create a list. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure all my mm -hmm. I's are dotted. Make sure Good. all my T's are yeah. crossed. Yeah. And it becomes more about you than about yes. Him. And Thank even you. many people, when it isn't worship and they're in praise, they hide in the claps and the shouts and right. the dance. Because mm -hmm. when you have to stand face to face with God, I always uh, say, just like my husband and I, there's only two people that can go in our bedroom. That's me and him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a very intimate place. Mm -hmm. And when we stand before God, that's the place of worship. Mm -hmm. He imparts to us and really mm -hmm. speaks yeah. to us. It's an intimate place yeah. that only him and I can go to. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and so, you know, the presence of God is so intimate. And a lot of people just kind of are scared and run from it immediately because God starts, I mean, mm -hmm. it's powerful. He starts dealing with yeah. things. He starts dealing heart. with mm -hmm. things. And it's like some want to surrender yeah. right away. If you're hungry and thirsty, like you're saying, yeah. Yeah. they want to yeah. deal with it. But some are like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, tell us more. Well, there's a, there's a beautiful <laughs> picture of that uh, where Elijah is drawn by the Lord and says, why are you here, Elijah? What are mm -hmm. you doing? Mm -hmm. And God comes. He says, go hide in the cleft of the rock, and I'm oh. going to come and show you myself. And he comes uh, in the form of fire, comes in the form of an earthquake, and he comes in the form of wind. But in every instance, he says, I'm not in the wind, because yeah. God is not in the wind. He's not in the earthquake. Mm -hmm. He's not in the fire. Yeah. And then the still, small voice yes. comes. And then Elijah takes his mantle and wraps it around his head, and he walks to the end of the cave. He just stands there. And then the Lord says again, what are you doing here, Elijah? What are you doing oh, here? And Elijah Ooh. says the same thing in a whole different spirit because he realizes, I've just had an encounter with God. With God. Changes yeah. everything. Because before yeah. when he said what he said, it was all about him. Mm -hmm. But after he had an encounter with God, it was all about God. Ooh, I and you're never that. the same again, huh? You're yeah. Never the same. Never the same. That's why we need encounters with God. Yes. We need to have encounters with the Holy Spirit. You know, it needs to be a normal way of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, God does want to fill us. He wants to saturate us. And that's mm -hmm. where I have created so many soaking instrumentals. Nice. You know, I did it for myself. Mm -hmm. The first one that I did mm -hmm. um, was actually for my own devotional time because I just wanted to have music that would take me in prayer for a full hour. 
nonstop, no breaks in the music, you know. Mm -hmm. So I created it for myself, and then I found other people I had interest in it. Mm -hmm. And so since then, I've done about three, 33 CDs of that kind of music. It's soaking music. And, but God wants to saturate us. He wants saturate, to satiate yeah. us in His presence and fill us up, you know, because it is the substance of the Spirit. It's the substance of mm -hmm. His presence. Mm -hmm. God, I think about Solomon when he built the temple and he dedicated it. It said mm -hmm. that the presence of the Lord after the, sing the singers sang and, and they couldn't even get up afterwards. The priests couldn't get up because mm -hmm. of the presence of God. That, don't you think that's what needs to happen in our churches in this oh, Absolutely. Hour? I what sure wouldn't turn for? it down. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we want that kind of weighty presence. And that's probably the most extreme example. But in the New Testament, we are the habitations of God. And so it's not like we're trying to get God to come down out of heaven. Right. He's right inside that's of us. Right. Yes. And we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah. You know, so really it's more of ourselves mm -hmm. becoming more sensitive and God conscious. Mm -hmm. And paying the you know, price. And, and the soaking, you know, when, when, you know, a lot of people just still today, they say, well, what do you mean soaking? Well, you know, just like you said, that saturation, it's like, to me, if I were going to go take a bath and you want to soak or, you know, a lot of people are oh, bath good. people, I'm not a bath person, but um, a lot of people get in their jet tubs and, I mean, they're not going to put enough water and put their toe in there. <laughs> they're going to get in there and they're going to immerse in that bath. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to put some candles on. Yeah. They're going to hang and they're going to soak. That's right. And, Absolutely. you know, get all of the stuff. That's what, you know, soaking CD with God, mm. you get in there and you soak no, in no, all no. of Him. And just saturate and come out so changed because I really believe everything in His presence is settled. I can go in in His presence <laughs> and be just wrecked and yeah. come out like, yeah. oh, no problem. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Everything goes so small. Problem yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And music has a way of carrying us into His presence. Yes. Yeah. Has a way of and holding us and bringing us back. Yes. Yeah. Um, I spoke to someone recently. He said, I just love worship mm -hmm. uh, because if I get out, I know how to get back in. If I get out of God's presence, I know how to get back in. I get back into worship. Worship yes. just takes me back into His yes. presence. Yes. You know, it's the truth. It's the truth. It, it is. is. The Lord spoke to me one time. He said, do you know why music is so powerful? I said, why, Lord? He said, because when, uh, when man, when a human, when we listen to music, we, our, our mind disengages. It goes straight to the heart, and it fills up our being. He said, um, I'm going to... For me, it was saying, I'm going to use, use you in music mm. to get past a lot of the garbage that people have in their minds, their preconceived ideas of God or whatever, and go straight to the heart. So what you're saying mm, is absolutely. true. Absolutely. God, when we put worship on or when we worship Him and just soak in His presence, <clears throat> we're, we're, our mind is disengaged. It doesn't affect. <laughs> it. it goes straight yeah. to the heart. Mm. It can minister to us, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Music is so powerful that um, actually Satan has used it. In, sure. in, in, in music, mm -hmm. you know, because he can, uh, actu actually you can put bad words to a good melody. Yeah. You can put bad words to a good melody and people are brainwashed by it. Mm -hmm. mm. And just, they, they love yeah. the tune. Well, they yeah. I used it. to listen to secular music when <laughs> mm -hmm. I was a kid. And I had no idea what they were saying, but all those seeds were being planted in my spirit. Yes. Yes. So you're talking about because spirit. through the music, the music opened the door. Uh, right, the spirit yeah, entered in. All the bad stuff. Yes. In the same way, the music can open the door for all the good stuff. That's good. Yes. You know, yeah, and that's, that's why good. worship is so powerful. It can train us mm -hmm. into the presence of God. You know, and just having the different words and train us into the truth that yeah. God has for us, you know, yeah. so. And it just takes a second. I turn on the worship and, and I'm, you know, and I, I don't say this to where I don't get enough of the word, but I'm 90% worship and 10% yeah. word, mm -hmm. although I read a lot of the word, but I am a, I, it's worship because, I mean, mm -hmm. I can just turn it on and I'm just, <laughs> and the Holy Spirit is, I mean, because it's just yeah. so moving yes. me. I'm in my car worshiping all the time and, mm -hmm. you know, it's not that I just go sit in my living room or dance around, which there are those times, many mm -hmm. times, but now I get in that car and before you know it, I'm crying and talking to God because of worship. Yeah. Yeah. All because of the music. So that's why I, I think Absolutely. it's just powerful what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What do you see God doing in this in this hour or in the hours to come, in the hour we're living in? 
And I feel like it's a restoration of all things. Mm. And that's you know what was prophesied in the book of Acts and is still happening right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the tabernacle of David mm -hmm. is part of that restoration. Is 24 it, hour. Well, it, wow. maybe 24 hour, but you know, here's the deal. Uh, I'm, I'm familiar with houses of prayer and, and God uses it all. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line yeah. is you are a house of prayer. Yeah. Yes. You know, I'm Good a house you. of prayer. Yes. You know, so yes. we are the house of prayer. The and, uh, and it's all about people coming together in unity. You know, because if you walk as a habitation of God and she walks as a habitation of God and we come together as a habitation of God, yes. that's what Power. God is after. Awesome. In, in Ephesians 2.22, it talks about how he's building us together as a habitation mm -hmm. of God's presence through his yes, spirit. Yes, I love that scripture. Yeah. I through his spirit. That. And yeah. it's a corporate habitation. Mm -hmm. But it begins as individual habitations, you know, as we live. Mm -hmm indwelt by the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you know, not being ignorant of his mm -hmm. presence and knowing where he is. Because I think mm -hmm. so many times in our own natural mind, we're really not realizing it, but we're trying to get God to come down out of heaven, mm -hmm. not realizing the deposit he has already put inside mm -hmm. of us. And really, it's all about our own it's tuning. So true. Yes. It's, so well it's our said. own tuning. We're we're needing yes. to come in tune to what's Amen. inside of us. It's the same with faith. Jesus, Jesus would say, where's your faith? Mm -hmm. You yes. left it at home. Okay. Yeah. You just need to get sensitive to it. It's right, right. here. He's given you the measure of faith. Yes. It's still there. Yes, yes. 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 that's so good. Yes. That's not because yes. the disciples said, give us more yes. faith. He said, that's not what you need. If you had you know, mustard seed <laughs> faith, the smallest size of a seed, you could command this mountain to be removed and cast to the sea, and it would very obey you. Good. You know, So it's there. We just need to come in sure. to wow. a sensitivity okay. to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And set ourselves and so you're in talking such a about way. A, a chapter, second chapter of Acts. Boom. I mean, if we're all doing that and they came in the upper room, the power, the revival that God wants to impact this earth with, but he's dealing with us individually to be habitation so that when we do come together, kaboom. Kaboom. Things happen. The lost get saved. The signs and wonders. Absolutely. But it starts with us. Absolutely. And uh, there's talk about open heavens and things like this and breaking through you know you've heard the terminology let's break through the heavens and all this kind of stuff but Jesus always had an open heaven right. and he broke through the heavens for us it's already done Exactly. and when we learn to live as habitations and we Amen. come together as habitations of his presence then the heavens Amen. will be open right. it won't be an issue it'll Amen. be like Jacob's ladder we go up and down exactly. we go back and forth it's not here and it's not there it's back and forth because that's where we have our authority when we know we have the substance mm -hmm. it's just like in the book of Joshua when they had to cross over into the promised land the priests had to bear the ark over into the waters and the waters parted so it was the glory of the God, glory of God. The glory of God that opened up the way. Yeah. They had the faith to enter in, but they needed yes. the glory of God to open up the way. You have to have yeah. both the faith and the glory to go through and inherit yeah. the promises. And the glory doesn't come until we step out in faith. That would have been good for our glory show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you need That's both. Great. I don't yeah. know exactly That's how that true. works, but we need both. I know yes. that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I think a big key, what you're talking about, is the unity. Yes, we're walking in unity together mm -hmm. because it says in Psalms 133 that God commands a blessing, right? Amen. Unity. And so this goes long hand in hand with all of that because without the unity with discord and you know, people arguing mm -hmm. over silly, goofy things, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just, it's getting that mm -hmm. Absolutely. the heart in the right place. Yeah, don't worry about the carpet yeah. mm -hmm. or the no. color of the paint, oh, you know, yeah. so, come on. It's it's a memorization <laughs> is when you hear yeah. something in song, you, you can recall it so easy. Absolutely. And I guess in days of old when they didn't have telecommunication, they would have one person go from town to town and sing mm -hmm. and, and people would be able to retain what they said mm -hmm. because of the music. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, music has a way of sealing truth in our spirit, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, even scripture, you just remember. Yeah. That's yeah. why David yeah. wrote so many psalms. Yes. I mean, he sealed mm -hmm. so much prophetic instruction yeah. in the psalms. If you want to, if you want to memorize scripture, you sing the scripture That's songs. Right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So even to learn uh, tongues, to speak in tongues many times mm -hmm. when you sing it, all of a sudden it just comes forth so much easier. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Lord wants you to worship Him today. He wants you to just praise Him. Just 
Yeah. Offer up a sacrifice of praise and say, Lord, I thank you. John, would you just pray for the people, release Absolutely. an anointing of worship. Lord, we just thank, thank you, you for your people, thank Lord. You, we just Lord. thank you for the revelation yes, of yes, them thank becoming you, habitations yes, of your presence, thank Lord thank Jesus, you. the reality yes. of your presence in their yes, lives, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord. that you would open up uh, their thank hearts, you. Lord, yes, to receive God. of your spirit, yes, Lord. Pour yes. Pour out your spirit yes, on them, Lord. Yes, Refresh Lord. them by yes, the waters of your presence in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, we just thank you for a restoration of intimacy with God yes. for your people in the name of Jesus, Father, that the spirit of glory and of God would rest upon them, Lord Jesus, that you would awaken their hearts in your presence, Lord Jesus. We thank you for sealing these words in the name of Jesus, Father, that they would walk in your truth and walk in your ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wow, thank you for praying for wow. the viewers. You know, they love that. And, you know, people need that, and they're just waiting for that. You know, yes. that connection and that yes. faith, and all of a sudden they're just, you know, hooked up. It's like that one guy who called last night. He said he that, that got the miracle. He said he had all kinds of people pray for him and everything, but he just connected that moment. You know, you just have that moment where somebody just prays. We, You know, and it awakens their hands, and it awakens, Absolutely. connects, whatever the faith flows, Absolutely. everything, yes. all the above. And he was healed, and thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, awesome. so... Yeah, the people are precious yeah. and they, you know, and this will really help them, John. Thank you so much because yeah. really, it really gave them just right down nitty gritty yeah. tools. Right. Yeah, yes. Right, that yes. we have, he abides inside. Absolutely. Yes. yes. You yes. don't have to go to church to feel his presence right Amen. where you are. Yes. You can stir that up. Amen. Yeah, like go to church. <laughs> yeah. Go to church. Yeah. With that, go to we got to thank our guest for yeah. today. I'm sure you all enjoyed him so much. We sure did. Thank you so thank much, John. You. Thank you for Oh, my gosh. Me. This was marvelous. Yes, thank you. And uh, you'll see a, a song coming up by uh, John here uh, real soon. Stay, you know, tuned. You don't want to just tune out and miss his worship, okay? Uh, but listen. Listen, this is what it's all about, Jesus. Listen, if you don't know him today, that's what we're here for. Please, just, you know, all you got to do is call him. You don't have to get cleaned up. You don't have to get perfect. Just say, Jesus, forgive me of my sin. Come into my life. I really need you. I mean, things are a mess. I need what they have. I need this presence. I need this intimate place. And just say, I, I, forgive me of my sins. I believe that you are the yes, Son Lord. of God. I believe that you died on a cross and that you rose again and that you are coming back, Lord Jesus to take me eternally and if you said that prayer I'm telling you he came in and he'll rock your world mm -hmm. he really will just don't worry about it I mean we've had prostitutes people in prison all this stuff called and they didn't feel like really anything you know what he takes you just as you are let you two deal out and work all the details out of your life just come to him. He just wants you. He loves you. And so if you did that, call those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen and uh, so we can get some literature in your hand. And don't forget, go to our guest website, uh, listen to his um, music, listen to this song that's coming up by him. And if you need, if you need a worship leader or somebody to come into a worship, worship conference, hey, John will do it. But listen, it's only goodbye for today. Keep tuning in. Mwah! Time's up. <laughs>